Wheel alignment is an extremely important part of vehicle servicing. You know why the wheel alignment is done? Let us see about the importance of wheel alignment. How it works. What are the alignment angles and everything about alignment in this video? Wheel alignment is the process of adjusting the angles of the wheels to ensure that they are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the ground. Proper wheel alignment helps to ensure that the tires wear evenly, which maximizes their lifespan and improves fuel efficiency. It also helps to maintain the vehicle's handling and stability, which improves safety and driver confidence. To perform a wheel alignment, a technician will use specialized equipment to measure the current alignment angles. This equipment includes all the tools required, such as a lift, a computer module, post-mounted cameras, and a set of four targets or sensors. The technician brings the car to the alignment lift, then the targets are attached to the outside of each wheel. From that position, the cameras work with the targets to record measurements. Those measurements are then transmitted and displayed on the computer. Then the technician lifts the car and starts to adjust the misaligned angles. So what are the angles and why they are adjusted? Let's see in detail. There are three primary angles that are adjusted during a wheel alignment. These are toe, camber, and caster. Toe, this angle measures the direction in which the wheels point relative to the center line of the vehicle. A toe and angle means that the front of the wheels point towards each other, while a toe out angle means that the front of the wheels point away from each other. Typically on most rear wheel drive cars, toe is set to between neutral and some toe in. This improves stability of the car. But too much toe in wears the outside tread edges. While some front wheel drive cars, toe is set to between neutral and toe out. This improves traction and sharpness in steering control. but too much toe out wears the inside trade edges. Wheels aimed straight ahead with zero toe causes the least tire wear. So setting the angles to the manufacturer's specification is very important in maintaining vehicle and it improves tire longevity. The second important angle is camber. This angle measures the tilt of the wheels relative to the vertical axis. A positive camber angle means that the top of the wheel is tilted outwards away from the vehicle, while a negative camber angle means that the top of the wheel is tilted inwards towards the vehicle. A neutral to slightly positive camber angle can improve the responsiveness of the vehicle steering system. This is because the angle helps to keep the tire more upright during cornering which can reduce tire sidewall deflection and improve steering response. It's important to note, however, that excessive positive camber can result in uneven tire wear, also reduced handling performance, and increased fuel consumption. While a neutral to slightly negative camber angle can improve the handling of the vehicle and improves cornering performance, especially during high speed. It's important to note, However, that excessive negative camber can result in uneven tire wear, reduced braking performance, and increased fuel consumption. The third important angle is the caster angle. Before getting into this, let us take a bicycle as an example. Here, this is the steering axis which is inclined from the vertical axis of the tire. So the wheel centers itself and follows the direction of the movement of the cycle. This helps to improve the bicycle's steering stability, reduce steering effort, and provide better straight line stability at high speeds. Similarly, the caster wheels are used in moving chairs and trolleys. This caster angle makes the wheels follow the direction of movement. Likewise, the car also has a steering axis. 
This angle is measured relative to a vertical line that passes the center of the tire and it is measured in degrees. A positive caster angle means that the steering axis tilts towards the rear of the vehicle, while a negative caster angle means that the steering axis tilts towards the front of the vehicle. Most vehicles are designed with a positive caster angle. When you turn the steering wheel, the caster angle causes the wheel to tilt to one side, which helps to improve the vehicle's tire's contact patch with the road. This in turn provides better traction and grip during cornering, resulting in better handling and stability, and it also helps in centering the steering wheel. This is because the caster angle creates a self-aligning torque, which causes the wheels to naturally want to return to their straight-ahead position. If the caster angle is misaligned, the steering wheel will not return to its straight-ahead position. It's important to note that the caster angle can affect tire wear and fuel efficiency. If the caster angle is too positive, it can cause excessive wear on the outer edges of the tires, while a negative caster angle can cause wear on the inner edges. Now we will see about secondary angles. This secondary angles include steering axis inclination and thrust angle. SAI is the angle formed by a line drawn through the upper and lower steering pivot points. That is from strut mount to lower ball joint, like caster angle. SAI helps in stabilizing the steering by providing a self-centering effect, making it easier for the vehicle to return to a straight ahead position after a turn. Unlike primary angles, SAI is not directly adjustable. If the SAI is out of specification, it usually indicates that there is a bent or damaged suspension component that needs to be repaired or replaced. Next, the thrust angle is the angle formed between the vehicle's center line, the imaginary line that runs longitudinally down the center of the vehicle, and the line perpendicular to the rear axle center line. The thrust angle is critical in ensuring that the rear wheels are aligned with the front wheels. It ensures that the vehicle tracks straight and does not pull to one side. Adjusting the thrust angle often involves repositioning the rear axle or adjusting the rear toe. In some cases, it may involve shimming or replacing suspension components if there are misalignments due to damage or wear. Severe misalignment can cause the vehicle to crab, meaning the vehicle travels slightly sideways while moving forward. Typically, it is recommended to get your wheels aligned every 10,000 kilometers or every one year. Accurate wheel alignment optimizes driving stability, maximizes tile life, and improves your vehicle's overall handling performance. Don't hesitate to comment below if you have any questions, and we will be back with the next interesting video. Thank you.